Yo guys, welcome back, welcome back. The embarrassment returns. The embarrassment returns. This time it comes in probably the most important game of the season. <laughs> Against mid-table middles, bro. <laughs> These men are a point. A point in front of the Preston team that we just battered 4-0. And we sit there and we produce that. We go to their ground and we produce that. That performance was fucking disgraceful. From 30 seconds to last. Not even the first minute. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. From that stupid Coldwell header, we were done. We already knew what game we were dealing with. Pochettino is a fraud. A lot of these players let us down today. We're going to talk about the players individually too. The attack, oh, the structure, the game management. I, I knew, I knew like it would have been a bit different playing Middlesbrough over Preston just because Middlesbrough actually have an up and coming manager that's been hyped up a little bit. And what did he do? He saw all of our weaknesses and he was like, let's just play into it. We'll sit deep, we'll frustrate them in the midfield, we'll attack Levi Cole on the left hand side, we'll catch them on transition. And we'll get a goal somewhere. That's all they had to do. That's all they had to do. That's a blueprint on beating Chelsea Football Club. It's a blueprint on beating Pochettino. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. It is, it is so, so fraudulent, that performance. The setup was a disgrace. Like, in hindsight, bro, you should have been on over Cole Palmer. That don't work in the false nine. Um, against low blocks. That'll work well when playing teams that attack us and give us a bit of space, but not in this sort of game. Not in this sort of game. Enzo was being thrown all over the pitch. Like, um, we had him play as a second striker in some periods. We had him play as a left wing in others. I'm seeing wingers pushed onto the touchline again. Poor Madwake, he had to go through four players to just try and generate a chance. He struggled as well in that game. Well, I'm not going to say he had a great performance, but he was the only one that was trying and at some point succeeding in trying in beating players. But we just couldn't break them down to save our lives. Couldn't break them down for crap in that first half. Then we give the ball away off some stupidness. Um, Caicedo, Thiago Silva, Levi Colwell, what the hell are all three of you doing for that goal? Caicedo is ball watching. Thiago Silva, ball watching, and way too slow to get back as well, by the way. Brother's literally jogging. I don't know if that's him at full speed now or whatever, but he's literally jogging. Um, who else? Cole Will, he was just getting done up all game. The fact, the fact that we he got done by a championship winger, but we're letting a champ we're letting the championship left back team of the season from last season go to Dortmund while we don't have an actual left back that's fit right now, really begs belief. It begs a lot of belief. Like, how do you allow that shit to happen? But, hey, it's Pochettino. That's why I'm glad the board was smart enough to at least re-sign him on a two-year contract. At the very, very fucking least, they were able to do that. Awful, awful game, though. And to everyone who's Pochin, this is what you wanted. He said, patience. He's had, he's had a run of wins. Give him time and all of that. Here's your time. Here's the consequence of your time. This bum is going to throw away the easiest cup that we could have won this season. Just off the back of his own incompetence. And this dickhead is just blaming literally everybody but himself. I'll bring you a couple of quotes from this fraudulent fuck. We were punished for our mistakes. In football that happens. Disappointing because if we assess the performance, we were the better side. We didn't score. We weren't clinical. Of course, he will blame Cole Palmer for missing the chances made based off individual mistakes and nothing to do with the way that he set up the squad. He will blame Cole Palmer for why we didn't win this game. He said, today the approach was good. What? What are you talking about? That wasn't good. That was atrocious. That stunk. That approach, that setup, it reeked of fucking piss. Reeked of piss. It was putrid. I could smell that shit all the way from up in Middlesbrough. Then he goes on to say the first half of the season, we've created some chances, but we have not won because we aren't clinical enough. He, Mr. Player Development is again throwing these players under the bus to protect his own indeficiencies. And people will enable him to do it. 
People with limited understanding of football will see half chances, two or three half chances, barely get put away and then blame the players instead of blaming the manager who can't set up a structure to create more chances. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's the actual problem. And then the substitutions. The fucking hell, bruv. Madweki, the only guy who is actually trying and succeeding in taking on players we take off. Raheem Sterling, nah, yeah, I have a full 90. You're doing fuck all, but here, I have a full 90. Go on, mate. Conor Gallagher, that fucking Rottweiler, did absolutely nothing all game, ran around, lost the ball for fun, struggled as he always does against a team that sat back. Nah, I have a full 90. Enzo, the only one looking technically secure in possession. The only one that doesn't look like he's completely out of his depth. Come off, mate. It's time for you to come off. We we bring on Gilchrist. <laughs> we bring on Gilchrist in the 89th minute. And we take off an attacking fullback. Why? Why? For what? Who? Why? When? Wh what, what is the point of that? What is the achievement from that? This guy... Just makes it up as he goes along. He hasn't got a fucking clue what he's doing. He hasn't got a fucking clue. The owners need to be held accountable as well. Because they're allowing him to stay here. And they're allowing him to tank our season. This is yet again the same ego drift that we saw with Graham Potter. Where you refuse to sack him. Now you're refusing to sack Poch. Shit isn't acceptable anymore. Hurry up and get rid of Pochettino. Stop wasting our fucking time. Stop wasting these fans fucking money. Four and a half hours spent driving up, traveling up, taking the train up. Some of these guys didn't get to the Riverside Stadium four and a half hours away until the 87th minute. For this shit. This is, this is a disgrace. It's a fucking disgrace. But then there's idiots who will dead-ass watch this football and then they'll look you in the eyes with a straight face and say, trust the process, believe in the manager, potch in, trust the process and all of that crap. They'll peddle up all the BS and all the excuses because they want any bit of copium to stop themselves from getting cooked by their rival fans, by their rival mates. And they peddle up all this BS and allow the standards to drop. Fuck this shit. We should be fighting for top four right now. Instead, we're fighting for top eight. We're fighting for top eight and we're about to give Liverpool Middlesbrough in the Carabao Cup final. They couldn't be more grateful. They couldn't be more grateful if they tried. Man, I talk about potch ball. This guy's tactics are individual brilliance. You go and win me the game. I ain't going to win you the game. You win me the game. That is potch ball. That is potch ball. I've just told you potch's tactics. Just like that. Just like that. Fan base has the audacity to go at Potter for his manage, manner, uh, mannerisms when Pochettino just sits there with his arms crossed like one fucking slag. Gets up, does absolutely nothing and then just folds his arms again just to look like he's a little bit busy. You're a fucking dickhead. Dickhead. Big, big up to Enzo, big up to Petrovic, everybody else. Nah, you took L's today. You took fucking L's. Now we go to Fulham. Well, hopefully I wake up tomorrow and I hear that there's a club statement on Poch. But I know I'm not going to hear it. So what's the fucking point? And yeah, now we're going to get cooked everywhere again. That win, that winning run was fun while it lasted, people. Fun while it lasted. Fulham will be licking their lips for the West London derby. When was the last time they ever won at the bridge? <laughs> that might be where the fans actually turn. That might be when the fans actually turn. Ugh, fucking awful, man. They just need to end this, and they need to end this soon before our season really is done. Right now, it actually isn't done. We could still go on a run, but not under this manager. Not under this manager. If you are Poch in, you're a cuck. You're a cuck, and you hate this football club. You don't want to see this football club succeed. If you, if you are Poch in, you are a part of the problem. Because he has done absolutely nothing to deserve this support, this time, this trust, this patience, nothing. He has done absolutely nothing. He is a fraudulent Tottenham piece of shit with a Tottenham mentality that is reeking 
on the rest of the squad. Poch out.